So I want to show you uh, some voicings that I use uh, a lot in uh, my rhythm playing. And something like this, um, these things um, work really nicely because what I like about them is uh, they're on the low end of the guitar, which uh, you don't really necessarily hear a lot of that from guitar players uh, these days. Uh, especially after people got more and more into lead work, the rhythm playing kind of went out the window. And I found myself gravitating more the other way from being a, a soloist and really enjoying being a soloist um, and moving towards rhythm playing more and more and really taking pleasure in that. Because uh, I'm going to talk a lot about rhythm. It's, it's become a just about my favorite topic, uh, again, because it's, you, you just don't hear a lot of strong rhythm playing out there these days. So um, I'd like to turn guitar players' attention back towards you know, uh, chords and, uh, and pocket and groove. So uh, in that, uh, I was playing something combining rhythm and lead. basically all in E, right? E7 or E raised 9. Pentatonic scale obviously works through all that. And uh, I want to show you some chord voicings that I use a ton. And E is probably every guitar player's favorite key because you really seem to have the entire range of the guitar in front of you there. You've got the harmonics open to you, the lowest note on the guitar to the highest note on the guitar. So uh, I'm going to focus on kind of the low end of the instrument here. And basically what I'm going to play is E, A, G, there's A again, D, E. So it's E, A, and D triads that I'm going to play for you here and just use them across the instrument. I'm sorry, there's that G chord as well, right? E, A, G. That kind of takes it minor. Now it's sort of a minor chord instead of a major chord. But it works in a blues context. If you play those notes, the open strings on the guitar, you've just played E minor, right? Because that's a G triad. So we're using G in here as well.
it, Hendrix did a lot of that. Like Wind Cries Mary. It's gone, um, guitar is just wonderful in, in these cases where you're really hearing strings, there's air in the sound, and it's low and woody sounding. Strats and tellies are, are real good for that. Other guitars can do it as well, but there's something about the telly and the strat. What can anyone say? It just has this kind of clarity, but depth. It's a beautiful thing. So, uh, Back to my thing here. One other chord I'll play, one other voicing I'll play is this, which is fourths. A, D, and G. Fourths are a series of notes. Uh, uh, four steps away from each other. One, two, three, four. You play a major scale. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. They're called fourths. But we'll limit ourselves to this one here. Just spank the guitar. Just, just play it. 